So I'm uh, here with Robert Rodriguez for the new show, Men at Arms. Actually, not quite new, just bringing to uh, El Rey Network. Yeah, in a new way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So uh, uh, how long have you been affiliated with the show? Um, we just started producing it now for to come out this summer. And um, I had got turned on to it because my son was watching it, and he's into, you know, bladesmithing and Japanese styles, making knives and swords, and has been doing it for a number of years. And uh, when I saw the show, I thought, that's perfect for our audience, you know, because uh, El Rey is about independence and people who care about family and legacy and hard work, and that's all what this show shows, this real appreciation for an ancient art form that would be fading if people like the makers of the show and people like my son weren't keeping it alive and uh, teaches you dedication and hard work and, and a real love for this sort of artistry and how these ancient weapons were used not only in ancient times but now in pop popular culture movies TV and uh, video games yeah and I, was, I was watching the um, the YouTube version of it and uh, before you guys uh, became involved and uh, and of course involving uh, Danny a bit as well and it I love the history and how detailed they were, and they even showed the oops moments, you know, like, yeah. uh-oh, overheated it or something crack. And yeah. that was fascinating to show all the details and how much care they had for it, and the one you could tell if it was a fake or not. Um, uh, so how have you been interested in weapons very long? Is mostly because uh, your son Rebel was uh, enamored by the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that he was enamored into this actual, you know, bladesmithing. I mean, I... I, I create weapons for my own movies and, and I'm a big fan of them but as far as like the true craftsmanship of them I wasn't that aware how much work it was how much how much it takes to 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 make one of these things that to have a young person today be interested in that when everyone seems to be on video games well they're not you see something like that that interests them and it really sparks their it hits something primal in them about creating something with their hands and it really impressed me and I wanted to get it out there more so we take the show a little bit further and and have like real historians talking about how these were used and then we really test them out in a war room and and try to limit ourselves and, and what we can use as material so that it feels like uh the way it would have been done in back in the in the old days oh my gosh and I, of course i know i first became uh it, totally enamored by your work with grindhouse and all that and mm -hmm. uh, gritty hardcore yes and fun and uh now, do you ever get a chance to also play with the weapons and stuff, or just get to watch everyone else have the fun? <laughs> well, we'll see. They're going to have a testing later. My son really uh, studied ancient, you know, Japanese warfare, so he's he will probably demonstrate the Yari for me. I think I might take my arm off if I try, because the thing's going to be really sharp. You've got another arm. It's okay. <laughs> you can build one. <laughs> I, I use this arm enough. I don't need it yeah. anymore. Um, so, El Rey Network, it's been around for a few years now, yeah. right? Uh, so what made you want to start that whole thing? Because I know you, you talk about like wanting to be, you know, uh, family oriented and also making stuff and, and, you know, doing something that's actually productive, it seems like, and good values in a way. Yeah, I felt that it was a need for, you know, a network that, that was just really exciting and had nothing but cool programming on it, both uh, shows that pre-existed, movies that pre-existed that I just love, as well as new programming that just had an eye towards more diversity and um, doing things that just weren't weren't seen as much so that I, I felt like was missing from television. And uh, it's been really picking up steam. It's really cool to see people walking around with El Rey t-shirts and feeling like it's a brand lifestyle and, and, a, and an ideology. And, uh, and it's cool. It's really cool to have that outlet and have that, you know, be able to go right into people's homes and show them, you know, this cool shit. And I know you've been uh, active in filmmaking for years, like what, like 11 or something? Uh, 25. Oh my God. Can you believe that? Oh gee, that's ridiculous. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, so how did it feel like watching your son get into it? Because he started with some stunt work, right? Oh yeah, he was, it's my kids too. He's doing a little, the little butt kicker around kicking when he was like three years old. And then, yeah, he's been in, he's been in several movies. But I always said, did you want to be an actor? No, I don't want to be an actor. He, he was always making stuff with his hands. So, In fact, his, his nickname, Mickey Rourke gave him a nickname back when he was about four. His nickname was Hammer Hands. So now he's totally lived up to Hammer Hands. Because now he literally has a hammer in his hand all day long, that pounding away beautiful. on metal. First of all, Mickey Rourke gave him the nickname. Uh, and also... Mickey called him Hammer Hands. <laughs> <That> <laughs> you got to live up to it if Mickey calls you that. Yeah, you can't deny that. Keep, keep Hammer Hands away from my dog, is what he would say. 
no one's gonna argue against that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, where do you see this all going uh, now with the rest of the network? Because uh, it's uh, Univision Channel, correct? Univision, uh, yeah, they, they partnered with us to help us. Uh, it was my own network, and they helped get us, you know, more distributions and uh, believed in what we were doing. And then, um, so they helped fund us, and then um, creating more original programming because you know a network is defined by its programming. So mm -hmm. we really hit the ground running. Most networks that are new don't have original programming for years. I think AMC didn't have their first original show for 20 years, and we came out with four shows the very first year. So every year we want to just add more. That's why we're getting into more unscripted. We're going to have some new, you know, one-hour originals and and just keep keep uh, adding content to go along with our with our regular programming. I mean, way to show up AMC. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm a renegade. Uh, so is there anything that you would like to play with one day? It would, if you got a chance and you weren't going to cut your arm off? <laughs> I still like the katanas, so we're going to make that. We're making that in this episode. But, I, yeah, I can't compete with my son. I see him doing that <laughs> thing with a spear, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Hide behind a wall, maybe. Yeah, no, he's got, he's got a lot more agility. He's always been very agile, so I, I don't have that kind of agility. <laughs> so I'll probably just have to, yeah, use my shotgun. Well, it's better to know that than to find out the hard ways. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, this is great. I, I'm glad to see that you picked this up as well and that Rebels involved in it. And, yeah, was um, and seeing, like, uh, you know, Danny also is hosting, uh, like, the intros in the War Room type stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm glad to see you guys are working together more. In yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Kind of the best. And uh, I can't wait to see where this goes. Thanks. All right, thank you so Thanks. much. <laughs>